I'm Helen and welcome back to the next in our series of Easter Reflections. I'm going to show you some pictures of members of the royal family and I would like you to name them. You'll have five seconds to shout out the name of the person before the answer is revealed. Imagine if someone from the royal family was coming to visit you. What would you do to prepare for their visit? What would you wear? How would you greet them when they arrive? If it was me, I would clean the house from top to bottom, put on my smartest clothes and make sure I curtsied when they arrived. Welcoming royalty is a very special occasion. Today, we are going to be thinking about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is always the Sunday before Easter Sunday and it marks the beginning of Holy Week. But what's it all about? Jesus was on his way to the city of Jerusalem with his disciples. On the way, they reached a village called Bethphage. Jesus asked two of his disciples to go into the village and to find a donkey with her colt. They were to untie them and bring them to Jesus. If anyone asked them about what they were doing, they were to say that the Lord needs them. Hundreds of years ago, a prophet called Zechariah said that this would happen. Zechariah said, Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Now Zechariah's words were coming true. The prophecy was being fulfilled. The disciples followed Jesus' instructions to get the donkey and colt, and everything happened just as Jesus had said it would. When they brought the donkey and colt back to Jesus, they placed cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. As Jesus travelled towards Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, a large crowd of people had formed. They put their cloaks on the road for the donkey to walk over. Some people cut down branches from the trees and put them on the road too. The large crowd of people followed Jesus as he entered the city of Jerusalem. As they all walked on together, the crowd started shouting and praising Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Blessed is the King of Israel. The whole city was stirred by this triumphant entrance. Some people asked, who is this? Others answered, this is Jesus. The events of this first Palm Sunday are remembered by Christians every year. But why is it significant for Christians? At the start, we thought about how we would welcome a member of the royal family into our homes. And that's what this story is about. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, he wasn't entering as just an ordinary man. Jesus was welcomed as royalty. He was welcomed as a king. There are some clues that show us Jesus is a king. Zechariah's prophecy mentioned a king riding on a donkey. The people even called Jesus a king when they were shouting and praising him. Just as we would give a royal welcome by cleaning the house, dressing up in our finest clothes and curtsying to royalty, so Jesus was given a royal welcome by the people laying cloaks and branches on the ground. Now kings are very important people. 
They rule and they have authority. And for Christians, Jesus is the king of their life. Jesus is the most important thing to them and they follow his teachings from the Bible. But we all have things that are important to us, like doing well in school, sports, our phones and computer games. And we have people that are important to us too, like our family and our friends. You could say that whatever is important to us is king of our life. So I wonder, what's king of your life? What or who is important to you? Have a think about how you can show someone that they are important to you this week. Thank you for listening. Now is the time for you to think and reflect about what you have heard. There is a sheet that accompanies this video which you can print off and complete. Alternatively, you can keep watching and the questions will appear on the screen. You will need to pause the video after each question and write down the question and your answer.